basic butterfly. Might as well go with the monarch for this one, but of course you can use any colors you like. You just want to get that background shape in there. You could, um, almost anything that they do will work. As long as it has two sections, I think it doesn't matter. One could be bigger and one could be smaller. It's fine. And uh, I would just tell them they need to wait before they uh, decorate the wings. Let it dry. And just put a head in here. And a body. And I would give everybody a, a small brush to create some legs. I think that I would just have a few examples um, instead of pictures because if you give them pictures they're really worried about getting it exactly like the picture. And then I think I would say while your wings are drying, um, just make a flower for the butterfly to sit on. Any kind of flower, people just make up their own. Okay, my wing is actually still wet, but I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm kind of feeling like I'd like to have more than just this color. It just feels a little bare with just that uh, orange. Okay. I got it wet again. Oops. So you could really decorate it any way they want. I'm going to try not to touch this too much right off the bat. Maybe a wider stroke here. Okay. So this is still wet, but I don't want to wait. So let it blend in a little bit. You just make something up. Any colors, any design. And gotta get some intent in there. Just 
just feel like I need a line here. Okay. Now, if you want to have some either acrylic white or opaque gouache, however you see that, um, it's helpful. Maybe having some acrylic colors would be good too, and then you could come back and put some dots when it's dry. Just whatever, something like that. Yeah, I think that's a nice, easy lesson. They can, you know, I should put in a few more flowers, but I don't want to make you wait for that, so that'll work for now. Thanks, goodbye.